future for you. Right. Tell me a little bit about what you perceive to be the future for you. Well, the, the future for me is the future for the 4th District of Tennessee. You know, we've got a lot of issues that I was sent to Washington to do three years ago, and we're going to continue that fight. The uh, National Journal had you got as the most likely incumbent to lose the primary. I mean, how do you how do you deal with an uphill battle like that? Well, I think you know this is will be my fifth race, and and I, I guess I've made a career out of being underestimated. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we uh, Mr. Corker repeated his uh, comment that efforts to de defund Obamacare are silly. I think there was another way he put it. Uh, what say you on that? Well, the efforts to de defund Obamacare are not silly. It's a law that is uh, proving, even in the president's own eyes, to be you know, certainly not ready, not ready to move forward. There's a lot of flaws in it, and uh, the law simply needs to go away. And How we'll, do you do it, though? Well, we, we've got to get cooperation uh, on both sides of the aisle, and actually we're starting to see, see erosion. We see the president delaying the employer mandate. I think that they're going to have to follow with the individual mandate. And I, you know, I truly believe that uh, it's unraveling before our eyes. It was poorly written, and it just simply won't work. It's too expensive and doesn't do what it was intended to do. During your announcement speech, you talked about uh, how your opponents are trying to capitalize on past mistakes and such. I mean, how do you think that's going to play in, the, you know, in, in this campaign? Well, you know, what I'm hearing is I travel around the district, which we do quite a bit. I don't hear that from the constituents. I hear we have big issues in Washington, and we want you to go up there and fight for those issues. It's looking like uh, abortion is going to be a big issue in this campaign. A lot of people feel like your personal history makes you hypocritical on that issue. How do you think the voters should look at, at, your, um, look at your history on abortion, and, and what is your position exactly on abortion? Well, I, I think they can look at my voting records, 100 percent pro-life. Are you in favor of a, of a ban at 20 weeks? I think that you can look at my record and it speaks for itself. Congressman, you're way behind in the fundraising piece of this. How do you bridge the gap between you and your competitors? A lot of hard work. And so what does that look like? Well, it looks like it's a year from the election, and uh, when I started my first election against Lincoln Davis, this is when I started. Any uh, other message for your opponents? I, I think that I worry about my race. I always have, and uh, we'll let the voters worry about who they put into office. Uh, you, you mentioned Congressman Issa. Is he going to be down here campaigning for you? Uh, Congressman Issa has uh, intentions of coming to Tennessee, and we've got a lot of issues that people here are concerned about, and I know they're looking forward to hearing from he's, him. He's known to be a pretty good fundraiser. Is so he going to be helping you fundraise? Uh, Mr. Issa and I have a good relationship. Hey, thank you for waiting in the ranch. Yeah. Unfortunately, I brought a golf shirt to change into. Uh, Mark, <laughs> we didn't. No. Well, thank you guys thank for coming you. down and burying the rain. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, we, 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 we're very nice. We,